up you guys after Terryaxia and today I'm going to be reacting to some more of the hundred. This is season two episode nine. Um, so last week's episodes were um, pretty decent, pretty good. Enjoyed them. Um, I'm noticing that I Zombie is definitely a contender for like the winning reaction for the week a lot, which is interesting. Um, it's nice to see that you know it's not just always going to be Stargate. <laughs> um, yeah, we're getting some variety here. Um, let's go over the comments from last episodes. Uh, I'm sorry, I was stalking your Patreon because I'm so excited to see you react to this show. Haha, -ha. that's fine. Go ahead. Go watch all the reactions. Why not? Uh, this show is very addictive. Uh, when you watch one episode, you need to watch another and another. Yeah. Um, I have felt like that, definitely, um, although I need to, like, I, I can control myself, I think. Um, there's been some times where I've not been able to control myself if I'm really excited about a show. Like, I remember, um, I got to, like, I think it was season 7 of The Vampire Diaries and season 3 of the originals, and I was like, there's only, like, one more season after this. I've got some time and I binged like the rest of the series of uh, The Vampire Diaries and like two seasons I think of uh, the originals like in like the span of like a week uh, <laughs> and then I did the same thing with um, Supernatural um, I managed to like I, I was up to like season 14 or something and they had announced that they were coming back to finish the rest of the episodes around uh, a month or two after like I'd reached season 14 and I just sped through the whole thing within like a couple of days um, yeah so I, I get really excited sometimes but um, with this with the way that I do things now with like reading your comments and talking about things I'm trying to pace myself you know <laughs> um, anyways went on a bit of a tangent there it's quite hot in here, and yes, I am wearing two jackets. Why? Because it's a style, you know? I might have to turn my fan on. We'll see. Uh, Shan, the first season took place over a 30 day period September 13, 2049 to October 12, 2020. Wow, okay. The timeline threw me off the first time I saw it as well because. I was watching weekly, watching a show weekly, you don't realize the next episode is basically starting up right after the previous episode aired. Clark and the others were only in quarantine for a couple hours. Remember they were showing Abby and Kane's story at the same time. And after they landed, they went straight from the location, from the dropship. They ran into Bellamy and Finn on the way. I, I don't know. It just, it feels like everyone's like running into each other really easily and like getting places really easily then. Like, you would, you would expect it to take time. Does it take like five minutes from the dropship to Camp Jaha? Is, is that what we're supposed to believe? I don't know. Uh, this episode, episode seven, takes place on day 39 on the ground. So does that mean... There's been 39 days since everyone was on the ground? Or do you mean 39 days since the first season began? I think you mean since the first season began. Okay. Uh, Monty is that good with computers because he has been trained as an engineer for most of his life. To be able to live in space with a limited population, kids would need to become part of the workforce much earlier than we do here in our current society. Yes, um, I... I, I got that. I just mean, like, I thought it was odd because, like, I don't know. I feel like they would be technologically advanced, but also they would also not really be technologically advanced in, in the same sense that, like, they were in the sky. I don't know. I feel like... Would computers be a priority? Up in space? I don't know. I, I don't know. I... TV show, go to TV show. <laughs> I can't help but think 
that the bone marrow surgery wouldn't change the mountain people's DNA. Maybe it gives their generation a chance to see the ground, but the generation after theirs would have the same bad genes that they have. If they kill all the sky people, they're ruining their chance to interbreed and get better genetics. Example, Maya and Jasper. Um, now they've just sentenced their children's children to death. I mean, yeah, I think you're right, because it's like, it's not like those genes get passed down, it's your original genes, right? I don't know. Um, ugh. When the doctor was extracting Harper's bone marrow, it felt like a throwback to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when Whitehall was cutting up Jaying, saying discovery requires experimentation. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuck Whitehall! He was a snooze. <laughs> um... I know it looks excessive to start off the alliance with a death, but it's understandable that the commander would want the person who killed 18 of her people wanting him to die for what he has done, and he's guilty of, uh, as she wants justice for the people that she lost and the blood that was spilled. Yeah, I get that. And only asking for one death when Finn took 18 is completely reasonable deal for me. Yeah... Yeah, it just, I don't know. This fit, you know? I don't know. I really liked Finn in season one, so. Um, after the last episode, it had become obvious that Finn was going to die, but I wasn't expecting the way he ended up dying. Clark just loves mostly killing people. First it was Atom, the guy Octavia liked who got scorched by the acid fog, and now this. I thought his name was Adam, like A-D-A-M. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Clark did the right thing. Finn was going to die any way you look at it. Yes, he killed 18 people, but the amount of pain and suffering he would have to go through would have been insane. That Mercy was the best option for everybody. But I think it's going to be a huge character change for Clark. Yeah. I can't imagine that um, Raven's going to be too happy about what she did. I'm so emotional too. I really loved Finn. I wish they could have saved him somehow. Or at least made him survive for a couple more seasons. You know what? I will say though. I, I am presently su pleasantly surprised so far. Um, of how willing to kill people on this show that they are. Because so many TV shows play with the idea of killing someone and then just bring them back. So I'm pleasantly surprised that, you know, they've gone through with it. Raven and Clark's reaction at the end broke me the first time I saw this. I don't know why, but it didn't dawn on me that she was going to stab him. It was the humane thing to do, though. Um, it would have been so much worse if he had to suffer through everything Lincoln described. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I need to sneeze. No, it's not coming. It's fun. <clears throat> the kids were extremely stupid in this episode. I get trying to save Finn. Doing it the way they were trying to do was only going to result in the deaths of many innocent people. Absolutely! I think I even said that. Um, the second they fired a weapon, it would have been an all-out war. Um, my only issue with this episode is Raven letting Finn take the fall for her. That is completely out of character for her. She's never put her life before others. Finn recklessly doing anything to protect the, the girls he loves is perfectly in character though. Um, I would argue that it's probably what makes her put other people in front of herself. Because, she, you know, someone did it for her and she feels guilty about it. My issue with it is... There's never really been any indication that Finn did something like that. I feel like they decided it last episode that that's, that's how he got it on there. Like, I feel like there could have been seeds planted beforehand. You know, just a little here and there, th like, comment about, I don't know. I don't know. They could have planted some seeds, but uh, it just feels like it came out of nowhere that that's really the reason why. Um, 
I hope you're doing well, Shan. Been a while. Yes, it has. I just want to say I'm happy you picked up this show. Fun reactions. This is my opinion, but I think when I saw the first season, something inside of me thought that either Bellamy or Finn had to die. It felt like the show set them up like these two different main male characters, and someone like Finn would probably survive. But as season one ended and season two began, you see Bellamy's growth, and I feel like that's where they switch, where the switch was that Finn had to die. Also, with Clark, uh, also for Clark's character's growth. Yeah, does that mean that technically Finn get got fridged? <laughs> I mean, that is what the term is for, right? When a character is killed for another character's uh, um, character growth. It usually happens to female. It's usually females getting killed for male character development, but I mean, it can happen both ways. <laughs> um, it just seemed like these last episodes, the Finn's journey was over. I loved him as a character as well. First time I saw that scene, it devastated me. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Sorry. Um, it. I really hated throughout this episode they were doing everything in their power to save Finn, but they should have just given him up to the Grounders when they should um, have, because he was going to, he had to pay for a crime he committed. Uh, even they hadn't, even if they hadn't, then the Grounders were going to wipe out the camp, Jaha. Um, he shouldn't be punished for what he has. Well, he shouldn't be punished for what he has done, even if that means death. You mean you, he should, and other people should, shouldn't should suffer for that. Um, look, I they were just trying to buy time to try and get out of it in any way, I can, any way they possibly can. I, like, I get that. There's always other options, like putting him on trial or whatever, like they were suggesting. But, um... I, I'm I'm glad that they didn't give him up immediately, but I think they were a little bit stupid by smuggling him out and stuff. Um, it may have been harsh for Clark to kill Finn the way that she did, but she had no other choice but to mercy kill him, because otherwise the Grounders would have tortured him so badly, and he would have had to go through all the pain of suffering of those 18 deaths all at once, so Clark did the right thing with the mercy kill, as it would stop him from going through what was about to be done to him. Absolutely. It was just sad. Uh, when I said Chloe Sullivan was our favourite character, I was obviously speaking sarcastically. Yes, I know. Look, you can disagree all you want, but those are facts. They've been on the ground for a little over a month now. If you want to argue, I suggest sending a letter to the creators of the show or something. I'm sure they'd love to hear how they, what they're doing wrong. <laughs> After the show's over. <laughs> um, yeah, you being sleepy could be mistaken for you being drunk. The only time you've... I've ever... Uh, the only time I ever like being around someone who is drunk. <laughs> um, now, nah, as we discussed in voice after, Lex's name was mentioned in 206. Nobody spoiled you. You're safe. Yes. Seriously, you pick the one episode where it doesn't change to start looking at the final shot of the intro. I'll take some compilation shots and send them to you after I'm done watching. Added while watching tour 8, you shrug, but the final shot did change. Added now. I followed up on it, you saw the pics, the final shot does change. Well, in my, in my defense, it's very subtle changes and... And I got a bad memory. <laughs> yeah, weird character development in regards to security woman. She's all of a sudden backing up Abby and them. This came out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't like her. Uh, I find it kind of ridiculous to think that the Grounders came all this way to camp Jaha, put up tents next 
uh, next to it before attacking and brought Lexus throne with them too. Uh, they're here to fight or what? They're so extra. I mean, <sighs> don't you want to exhibit confidence with your throne? Brutes. You just called her Anya several times before now. And her name is Ying Ying, just FYI. Or, oh, well, is that too soon? Jia Ying! Jia Ying. Lincoln is right, Finn killed 18 people. Lexa is asking for one person, just one, to save all of them. Uh, this deal should be easy to make, but Clark thinks she's in charge, and of course, Abby doesn't want to anger her daughter. If anyone was in charge here, Finn would be out there already. Yeah, but it's one of their people. You about Finn. I get that he should pay for it, but in death? I mean, he killed 18 people. He literally started a massacre and didn't even care. He's supposed to get a fair trial, of course, but thanks to Clark, them and them, he'll most likely be getting caught outside the walls. Added later. Oh wait, he turned himself in. At least, right, at least he didn't run off like a little bitch. That whole scene with Raven floating in space looked junky as fuck. Did you see how fast she turned around and flew back to the airlock? Looked like someone fucked up the speed of the CGI there. Yeah. Uh, Clark to Lexa. Show my people how powerful you are. Show them you can be merciful. Bitch, you're dealing with the leader of a bunch of savages. Showing mercy is a sign of weakness. They'll skin her alive if she shows mercy. Probably. I don't know about you, but Finn dying by Clark's hand doesn't feel justified to me. First of all, it's not a grounder who killed him, and second, it probably shouldn't be a person from the camp that Finn attacked. Oh, it should have been. Um, they should have gotten the kill. I don't remember much about the show. But personally, I would not be okay with some outsiders on and off again girl girlfriend mercy killing the guy who killed my tribe mates. I guess at that point, maybe she was just over it herself. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the episode had to end. I don't know. <laughs> They're running out of time. Yeah, it happens. Um, anyways, let's get into the episode. <laughs> they would have told you if I had to. I had to. I had to. What did I do? The commander is ready to talk. Calm down a lot quicker than I ever would. Blood has answered blood. Some on my side say that's not enough. They wanted the murderer to suffer as our tradition demands. But they do not know that your suffering will be worse. What you did tonight will haunt you until the end of your days. Still, there will be restitution. The body will be given to the people of Tondisi. Murderer and murdered joined by fire. Only then can we have peace. No, we've done enough. The boy should be buried by his own people. Enough? We were owed the pain of 18 deaths. We were owed a righteous kill. My village deserves justice. You don't want justice. You want vengeance. You have not seen my vengeance. We'll do it. But when it's over, we talk about how to get our people out of Mountweather. All I guess at this point, we they've gone the through enough that... Clark. Good. When do we leave? Turning back now. Now. To use your attendance. Clark, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. If this truce doesn't hold, I killed Finn for nothing. Mm -mm. Go away. Raven, I'm sorry. I said go away! I know how hard this must be for you, but I'm leaving with the grounders and I need you to keep working on the radio. What are you doing? What are you doing? They need to take him. Like hell they okay. do. Get off. Give us a minute, please. Raven, 
you were great. We're taking him back to the village where the massacre took place. There's a death ritual. It's the only way to get our people out of Mount Weather. And I'm coming too. And don't worry. I'll bring your damn radio. I like that she's like got a reaction to this. I, am I missing something? I thought that they took him already. Thing. No, I get to live with it. You still think this truce is a bad idea, don't you? I think we're wasting time in politics while our friends are in trouble. We need their army to get to Mount Weather, Bellamy, and you know it. Their army has been getting their ass kicked by Mount Weather forever. What we need is an inside man, someone to be our eyes and ears. Forget it. It's too dangerous. Clark, if you can make it out, I can make it in. I said no. Since I don't take orders from you, I'm gonna need a better reason. I can't lose you too, okay? Damn, it's a pretty good reason. <laughs> now get you down, Gustus. But like you don't tell Iopote, I gotta hook up, stay if he. This is not the same time, also take 12 crew to go and get up. This is got crew stay no same. Won't be like Mount Nokom or so. And maybe not take also Kongera out. Also Kongera? Oh, I. You so like Kongera day, Hedda. I don't know what that means. Then do like you do, let she lay up. Not to go on now. Traitor. Traitor. My people fear me. I think the Reaper's still inside. You can talk to me. About what happened. I can't. Guys, there's people around. Weapons. We need to disarm before we enter. <laughs> so many fucking weapons, Raven. Head up. I'm clear. They get to keep their weapons? Fuck you guys! Oh, look, it's some. Sing. A young man. Zip off. Reaper, no, go take in here. I don't know if this is necessary. Commander, stop him, please. They'll blame us for this, too. Take him, kick around. <laughs> the Sky People march with us now. Anyone who tries to stop that will pay with their life. Warm welcome. Krukom Tondisi. Rum fire. Also, what a clean loudness day. Come fourteen. People of Tondisi. In fire, we cleanse the pain of the past. Clark.
You go and play stay on. May we meet again? Someone special to me, too. Her name was Kostia. She was captured by the Ice Nation, whose queen believed she knew my secrets because she was mine. They tortured her, killed her, cut off her head. I'm sorry. Shit. I thought I'd never get over the pain, but I did. How? By recognizing it for what it is. Weakness. What is? Love? So you just stopped caring about everyone? I could never do that. And you put the people you care about in danger, and the pain will never go away. The dead are gone, Clark. The living are hungry. Accept this gift, Commander. We drink this at uh, special occasions. I believe this qualifies. Thank you, Marcus of the Sky People. You're welcome, Lexa. Come three crew. Just uh, don't drink too much of it. Clark, let us drink together. To make sure it's not poison. Heather, allow me. Tonight we celebrate our newfound peace. Tomorrow. We plan our war to those we've lost and to those we shall soon find. This is someone sabotaged it. No, someone sabotaged it. It wasn't us. You have to know this wasn't us. So now take him, run up. Climb your way. Head him down. <laughs> No, no, we didn't do this. Augustus warned me about you, but I didn't listen. Lexa, please. Tell me something, Clark. When you plunged the knife into the heart of the boy you loved, did you not wish that it was mine? What's I got to do with it? Hita. That's not mine. These are no Cabrano or Oko. I'm telling you, that's not mine. He put it there when he searched me. No sky person leaves this room. Indra. Indra, adopt! Take a shish. I'll go him. You so like him. Damn it. So now we're totally screwed? Our message is broadcasting, but it's over a jammed frequency. So then unjam it. What do you think I've been trying to do? It's like the only way to shut it down is from the source. I need five minutes in the command center. No way. You heard my head's too dangerous. The guard's coming. We have to go. Cover the hole. Leave it. Catch you kids in here again. Sorry. Raven. Was that the first kiss I've ever nice remember? I'd step back if I was you. You wanted me to kill Lexi yesterday. If you tried to poison her, I need to know. <laughs> I'm You're the only it. murderer here. Leave me alone. You gave me no choice. Me 
through is loving you. What is it? You're talking about Dad? What I did to Finn was nothing like what you did to him. Don't do this now, Clara. I was protecting everyone. I didn't have a choice. You did. No. You turned him in. I trusted Thelonious to talk to your father and convince him not to go public. You knew Dad would never stop. You knew what would happen to him. I was protecting everyone, too. I was protecting you. Clark, please. We are the same. Did you find the radio? No. Where's Monty? There's with you. <coughs> oh. I haven't seen him. Monty, what are you doing? Is this Monty? Again? This is Monty? We were hosed on yesterday. Routine follow-up. Shouldn't take long. Oof. Risking a lot here. Tearing each other and yourself apart isn't a way to get through this. Lexa needs this alliance just as much as we do. She's shown herself to be flexible. She listens to you. She thinks we tried to kill her. We know we didn't. So let's figure out who did. Who would want her dead? Too many to count. Forming an alliance with you is a risk, especially after what Finn did to this village. So it had to be someone trying to break the alliance. Hmm, yeah, easy. My bet's on her. How's Gustus? Gustus was in. Take him away. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? She didn't poison anyone! I argued for all of you to die, but the commander is merciful. She wants only one. She's innocent. I don't care. They move, they bleed. Take this. Hey, stop, let her go. The rest of you are free. When she's dead, so is the Alliance. How about no? You should run. I take no joy in this, Raven. But this time, justice will be done. I didn't do it. How is that justice? We have to do something. Lincoln, talk to them. <laughs> Lincoln, talk to them. These are your people. Not anymore. You're no longer safe here, my friend. I'll do my best to make sure you get away. Then you'll be on your own. Clark, we need to move now. I can't save anyone. Say something. I need that bottle. Now! Stop! Uh, let oh her my pass. God. One of your people tried to kill you, Lexa. Not one of mine. You should have run. I can prove it. I'm risking a lot here. <laughs> Explain. The poison wasn't in the bottle. It was in the cup. He saw a big cow head up. No get bun clean. We aren't like you either. It was you. He tested the cup. He searched Raven. Gustus would never harm me. You weren't the target. The Alliance was. We didn't do this, and you know it. You don't get finger out, Gustus. Run, I ready you up. This Alliance would cost you your life, Hedda. And I could not let that happen. This treachery will cost you yours. Take him set round on a tree. Come on. Come on. Alpha Station, you better be listening. Here we go. Jamming signal deactivated. I felt like it was a yes out moment. All clear, gentlemen. Hold up. Forgot to log it. Whoops. I'm always doing that. Thanks for saving me. Take care. 
You said it was all clear. Your entry says something else. You sure? Huh, that's weird. If you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll fix it later. I have another room to check. What is it? Hey, listen to this. Talk to him. Say something. It's repeating. They're alive. We need to do this now. We've got the alliance. Now is the time to use it. First, we need an inside man. You were right. right. Without someone on the inside to lower their defenses, turn off the acid fog, an army's useless. We should go. I thought you hated that plan, that I would get myself killed. I was being weak. It's worth the risk. My map of Mount Weather. Find a way to get on that radio and talk to us. All right. Good luck. Bell, how are you gonna... I can get you through the tunnels. You can't go back there. Not yet. I need to face what I've done. Then let's face it. Together. Well, you're needed here. And you know our ways. Without that, this alliance will fail. I won't let that happen. How does she know their ways so well? <laughs> if it's been 30 days. <laughs> Uh, Alrighty, yo. Well, that was the 100 season 2 episode 9. Um, we had someone try and stop the alliance. Mm. And we kind of say goodbye to Finn. But now she thinks the love is weakness, and that's not true. That's not true. Um, man, this is so fucked. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.